George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK. Hi, I'm in a baker shop on the high street today and it smells brilliant in here. All the tasty loaves and cakes are making me very hungry and there probably isn't a better place to check out the next stage of the grain chain, which is... You got it! Baking! You've probably seen bakeries on your high street or in a supermarket. But do you know how much work goes into baking a loaf of bread? It's not an easy job. The main ingredient is flour. A few hundred years ago, the person baking the bread would have also made the flour, taking the harvested wheat and milling it themselves. But these days, it's, well, it's just delivered in vans. But it isn't just the flour that has to be delivered. There's all those other ingredients. Salt helps with the bread's taste and with proving, which is the resting and rising stage of bread making. And that's some water. You'll also need some vinegar and a bit of vegetable fat too. Now we add yeast. We have to do all this mixing very quickly. All in about five minutes, in fact, to get the best dough. Not that sort of dough. Dough is what the mixture's called. Once mixed, it has to be rested for a bit for the yeast to get to work before the next step. The dough is then beaten up, or kneaded as you're supposed to say. And here in the bakery they use a rotating machine. It helps to remove large air bubbles created by the yeast and encourages an even texture and better rise. The kneaded dough is then put in tins and left to rise. The dough then gets a good pummeling again to make sure there aren't any big air bubbles left. Otherwise, your loaf may be a bit holy. The dough is then allowed to rest for a second time and after all this, it's twice as big as it started. Now it's time for the baking. A hot oven is needed to kill off the yeast cells and change the dough into crisp and delicious bread. The basic bread recipe is the same as it's always been, but modern technology gives bakers a helping hand and helps them to make the 12 million loaves we buy every single day in this country. That's a lot of sandwiches. Time to get back to the kitchen. Today I'm making a stotty, or a stotty cake. I think it's cooled. It's like a large round bap, quite flat. It smells good. A stotty will really fill you up. It's quite heavy, but very tasty. In the olden days, they would be filled with bacon and peas pudding. I'm gonna have a wedge filled with crispy bacon, but I think I'll pass on the peas pudding. Delicious! See you next time. George explores the grain chain with support from farmers and millers across the UK.